welcome to this year's first edition of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and ATTU verse 99. I'm Chase Matchell, hoping you're having a great start to the school year. Uh, great. Here at Blue Springs High School, our motto is win at everything we do. Well, the track team has done just that. For the story, we go to Alex Shearing. Hey Wildcats, this past year the track team became back-to-back -back state champions, and this year are going for the three-peat. I caught up with Brandon Kimball, Justin Hall, and Coach Cusack to ask them about this upcoming season. I first asked them if there was more pressure this year being the returning seniors than there was last year. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more pressure this year now that all the seniors from last year graduated. Uh, they're a really good team and we got to live up to that expectation this year, so it's a lot of pressure itself. Uh, yes, there's definitely a lot of pressure with uh, going into senior year. We have a lot of really good seniors leave last year and they set a very high bar for us to achieve. I then asked them what their expectations for the team was this year. Same as usual, we expect to win state this year. All right, tell me a little bit about how this past year's championship team compared to the year before. So. Well, one of the things I told this team and I try to establish with all of our teams is they, they each have their own identity. However, we had several uh, members that can, you know, return from that previous year. So uh, it was very satisfying in the fact that this team the new guys that came in established their own identity for helping the team to establish, you know, new heights. We reached new heights on our point total and, uh, you know, getting that many more guys all state. But the guys that returned, uh, what I'm proud of them for is that they had a lot of pressure on them the whole year and they handled it, you know, with class and style. Uh, they competed uh, like champions the entire season. And, uh, well, this year's team, you know, lost three All-Americans in Peaster, Davis, and Davis. Uh, but we return a lot of talent, you know, led, leading the way is Justin Hall. He's by far our number one returning individual. Uh, but we have a lot of talented athletes returning. And this team, uh, they'll have their own identity. But I, I think we can, you know, we can guarantee everyone out there that we will give our best effort to try to win three state titles in a row. Congratulations to the track team on their back-to-back -back state championships. Hope you guys have a great season this year. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Alex Shearing. Thanks, Alex. And congratulations again to the track team. The American Field Service, or AFS, has brought a few foreign exchange students to our school. We go to Amy Hendricks for the story. Ni hao, konnichiwa, hello, sup. While the school year is starting up, you'll see a lot of new faces, including three foreign exchange students from China, Japan, and Germany. I got to catch up with June, Kayla, and Elma to ask them a few questions. アメリカでは大体7種類くらいですそれが僕には届きでしたえっと日本には今忍者が全くいませんうんてめえごおつひはなくしんしゅうおとけだいじゃあてんはんだいじょんごおめめよクロスカントリーうんでクロスオンチャ
the web at LunarBowl.com. Lunar Bowl is a smoke-free facility. Welcome back. Just last summer, the seniors from both the Blue Springs and Blue Springs South football team took a trip to Jamaica to help out in the community there. For more information, we go to Tierra Sports. This summer, the football team kept the tradition going by visiting Harmons, Jamaica to help out in the community. We first caught up with Coach Wilson to ask him about his first time experience. Well, the experience overall was absolutely amazing. It was life-changing for many of us to see the impact that we could have when we just went down with the spirit of giving and serving other people it was uh, really emotional and moving and like I said life-changing it's something I hope to experience again and to be able to do it with staff members and students of Blue Springs was something I will personally never forget the uh, the one experience that stands out is we were able to build three homes for families and when I say homes not homes in the capacity that we think of them these are 15 foot by 10 foot structures that maybe six to seven people will live in but when we handed them the keys to those homes they were beyond ecstatic. It was like all their dreams had come true and I'll just never forget that moment when we got to give them keys to their own home. We then caught up with senior football player Christian Baker to ask him about the trip overall. Um, the trip overall was really um, humbling and to be a little cliche it was a little life-changing too. Um, my favorite part of it was the infirmary uh, because just to see people that could be you know my grandparents or something in a uh, small building out in the middle of nowhere was really um, eye-opening to me and that's probably one of the best parts for me. It looks like what the football players are doing in Jamaica is amazing and we hope to keep this tradition for years to come. Signing off from Wildcat TV, I'm Tierra Swartz. Thanks Tierra. Looks like it was a great experience for all involved. As with any new school year, we have some new teachers on campus. Reese Pugh met up with a few of them to challenge them to some Blue Springs High School trivia. Hello and welcome to a new segment on Wildcat TV. Today I've got some new teachers with us and I'll be asking them some trivia questions. First one to get three questions right wins. First question. What is the total square footage of Blue Springs High School? Uh, I believe it's 16,322 square feet. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. Wow. You're wrong. The correct answer is 368,000 feet. It is still zero to zero here, and we'll move on to the next question. What are the official colors of Blue Springs High School? Wow. <laughs> well, purple and gold. That is correct. Yeah. Next question. How many total students attend Blue Springs High School? Reese, is this a setup? No. Okay. 1,800 students, final answer. That is so close, but it's actually 1,834. I would have accepted 835, but still one to zero here, and uh, we'll move on to the next question. What is the official Blue Springs Wildcats mascot? The Power Cat? I'm sorry, but that's incorrect. It's the Blue Springs Wildcats. Oh, I meant the logo. You guys can come back. The next question. How many ceiling tiles are in the Blue Springs studio? Um, that's a trick question. The ceiling is cheat rock. <laughs> that's incorrect, I'm sorry. There's 210 tiles. There was 211, but one of them broke. I'm sorry. Next question. Now this one will be as easily difficult as the last question. Okay. True or false, Blue Springs High School has both male and female in it. True. That's correct, it is two to zero. Okay, we're gonna call that a win for the female teachers over here. If you guys see any of these teachers, if you guys see any of these teachers in the hallway, make sure to say hi. Back to the studio. Thanks, Reese. Seems like those questions were equally difficult for both groups. <laughs> we now go to reporter Galen Spruill in the newsroom with a couple of important announcements. Galen? Thanks, Chase. If you haven't ordered a yearbook yet, you need to this week. 
Ms. Grusin has extended the price increase deadline to this Friday, so make sure you stop by room 107 to order it online at yearbookforever.com before Friday or the prices go up. Also, A plus tutoring trainings are Tuesday, September 1st at the Freshman Center and Thursday, September 3rd at the high school. All tutor trainings are from 2.40 to 3.15. Tutor logs will be available to pick up starting September 8th. Last announcement, NHS will have their first meeting September 4th during Wildcat Hour Shift Week in Miss Minister's room. Back to you, Chase, in the studio. Thanks, Galen. Soccer season is starting up and our players are ready to rock and roll. We go to Sydney Bliss with more information. Hey guys, soccer season has kicked off. I caught up with Coach Palermo to get more details. I first asked how the team is preparing for the season. Um, well, we've had a good preseason. Um, we did a lot of work, we've done a lot of fitness. Um, we had some inexperience this year, a lot of new guys playing varsity. Um, so we had to get them uh, to get a little more familiar with the system of play. Um, and they're coming along. We've been working really hard and we're excited to get the season going now. I then asked what Coach Palermo thought the hardest part of the season is going to be. Um, going back to what I kind of touched on a second ago, some of the inexperience. We had a lot of guys playing on junior varsity last year. We had a lot of good seniors graduate last year. So some inexperience, um, trying to find players to fit in the right positions. Um, but after we get that go, I think we'll have a good season. The boys play at Oak Park tomorrow and Lee Summit North on Wednesday. The varsity will play at 5 o'clock and junior varsity will play at 6.30. Come support the team. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Sydney Bliss. Hope you guys have a great season. If you have a knack for numbers and logic, then Math Club is for you. Meetings are in Mrs. Erickson's room on Thursday's A-Shift. Be there or be square. We are going to hear another word from our sponsors, and when we come back, we're going to have more information on DECA, and we'll have a visit from an old friend. <laughs> What I love about Culver's is every time I come in here, they always greet me with a smile, and I'm always happy to be here. The reason I like to work at Culver's is because it's fun, energetic, and I love the people I work with. What I love about Culver's uh, is the energy when you walk in. The employees are always smiling. Um, the custard is delicious. It's always the perfect temperature. Uh, and I like to add a little peanut butter just to add some flavor. Boys basketball will have an important meeting Thursday, September 10th, Wildcat Hour Shift B in Coach Jones' room, room 135. DECA is one of the impact organizations here at Blue Springs High School. For a look at some upcoming events, we go to reporter Abby Gaylord. Thanks, Chase. If you're enrolled in a marketing class for first or second semester, then you can become a member of DECA. We caught up with Ms. Fowler to get some more information about the club. DEC is an amazing organization uh, that I've been able to be a part of for over 10 years and um, it allows for any of the marketing students to take a marketing class to be in a club. Uh, it involves many different things of their choosing to be involved. It could be competition, community service, um, leadership, making new friends, traveling, that's always the best part, right? Um, so we have a lot of fun together and our first meeting is this Wednesday in the Wildcat Room during Wildcat Hour Shift Day and hopefully we'll have some you know, goodies for you to come and enjoy and meet new people. And I really uh, encourage you to come out and check it out. So if you're interested in joining DECA, talk to Ms. Fowler in room 313. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Abby Gaylord. Thanks, Abby. We expect great things from DECA this year. This week is Community Unity Week. And for some important announcements, we go back to Galen in the newsroom. Galen? Thanks, Chase. This week, there is a camp food drive going on all week your fourth hour teacher will be getting a bingo card and classes can be entered into a raffle for a pizza party. There is also a Chick-fil-A competition going on at Blue Springs Chick-fil-A. We are competing with South on who gets for most people out there this week. So make sure you stop by Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs and tell them you are there to support the Wildcats when you order. Last year we lost to South in both canned food drives and the Chick-fil-A competition. So let's make sure we beat them in both this year and of course Chase, we want to beat them in the game this Friday. Absolutely, Galen. Thanks for the information on that. We now go to a familiar segment. Maybe you haven't seen it in a while. Oh. Oh. Hey. Wow, I... I haven't seen you in a while. That doesn't mean we're not still friends, though. Like, um... I mean... It... What happened between us... It wasn't you. It, it was... It was all me. But, um... I, I just needed time to find myself, you know? Uh, but I missed, I missed you. 
You miss me too? That... Wait. What? You... You want to get back with me? Uh, let me, let me get back to you on that real quick. That was a bit awkward. Maybe if we just uh, start it over. Hello and welcome to Stuff with Ethan. I am your host, Ethan. And this year's gonna be pretty exciting. Wildcat TV is in its fourth season, and the plan is that it keep improving. There are seven key changes to expect from Wildcat TV, and in today's episode of Step With Ethan, I'm gonna fill you in on what those changes are gonna be. Before we get started, though, I wanna check in on Chase Matchell and see how he's doing. First edition of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and ATTU verse 99. I'm Chase Matchell, hoping you're having a great start to the school year. Great. Here at Blue Springs High School, our motto is win at everything we do. Okay, so maybe that was a bit rude. But I really wanted to introduce you. You see, Chase, he's gonna be a huge part of Wildcat TV. It's only his debut episode, and he's already anchoring. I mean, the guy's wicked impressive. But I, I digress. What I wanna talk about is his... Hold that dot. What I wanted to talk about is his new segment. Chase back there, he's our weather correspondent for Wildcat TV this year, meaning he's gonna bring you a five day forecast so you know what kind of weather to expect during the week. You know what can get in Missouri? Snowing yesterday, but blistering hot today. So this week, Chase had his hands full. I went ahead and forecasted the weather for you. What do you think of when I say the word club? Maybe you think of a club sandwich? Or a golf club? Maybe even a nightclub if you have a social life and friends. However, when I say the word club, I'm talking about Wildcat TV's brand new expose segment on clubs. Featuring Jacob Ryan and Reese Pugh, they'll be delivering you the deets on clubs around campus in a fun and informative way. As high school students, we often worry about meaningless things like grades or college or hygiene. But there's one thing that we worry about that is completely justified and crucial to our survival. And that's fashion. But why male models? Lauren Ferris will be informing you on proper attire and stylish trends to keep you looking fresh all year round. This year, Wildcat TV is having sort of a broadcast takeover, if you will. We do the news, we do TV show thingies from time to time. Last year, we did a movie, and this year, we're doing a game show. Coordinated by the lovely Sydney Bliss and hosted by the dashing Reese Pugh, Wildcat TV's brand new game show will be a random, 
interactive contest for students to participate in either a test of trivia or physical ability. Possibly even a combination of the two, a physical contest if you will. The game shows a way for the students to interact with Wildcat TV when they would otherwise not be on the episodes. Make sure to follow Wildcat TV at Wildcat TV News on Twitter to stay up with all of the game show information. An issue that Wildcat TV seems to struggle with is a lack of interesting and engaging shots. This year, a focal point for the Wildcat TV crew is to keep you, the viewers, interested using dynamic, on-scene footage. So imagine that there's a play. We'll have footage of the actors, the actresses, the props, all within the, the binds of the PAC! Or even during a basketball game. We'll give you shots of the players during the game or during their practices, on-scene, every time. Wildcat TV is getting up close and personal with all the physical sports, especially football. Imagine if there's a swim meet. Wildcat TV will have on-scene footage of the swimmers doing swimming stuff. So this segment's gone on long enough. You don't want to be here, I don't want to be here. So here's the catch. This year, not only am I the executive producer of Wildcat TV, but I'm also going to be focusing on producing my own creative content. This includes a 10 minute short film, a web series that contains five to six episodes, a music video, some commercials, and the largest project of all, a full length feature film. If you're at all interested in watching the process behind any of these projects, I'll be uploading vlog videos to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Mr. Ethan Armstrong. You can also follow me on Twitter at Ethan B. Armstrong, where I'll be tweeting out information and such. Any project that I make, you can find on my YouTube channel, anytime, no problem. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Ethan Armstrong, back to you in the studio. Snowing yesterday, but it's blistering hot today. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Ethan. This is going to be a great year, and we look forward to bringing you fun, relevant content throughout the school year. Quick reminder, yearbook pictures are this week, September 3rd and 4th, during your history class, so make sure to be ready for that. And seniors, Friday is the panoramic picture in the big gym during Wildcat Hour, so be prepared for that. If you'd like to order one, the cost is $20. That wraps it up for this week. Have a great week, and remember, it's a great day to be a Wildcat.